Hello everyone, my name is Maggie Gila and I am a business and marketing strategist and today I want to talk about um, a really interesting conversation I had with a friend of mine about how she said no to a major investment opportunity in her business and is starting over which is um, which is one of the core reasons that one of the core things that you need to start actually building a decent and solid business strategy for growth. So if you're here, or if you're watching the replay, if you're here live, pop in a comment, say hi, um, tell me what business you're in. I'd love to feel this is a bit interactive and I'm not just talking to myself. Um, so one of, the th um, one of the things that you need with your business is a strong vision. And I have to tell you that when I started my business, I, I didn't think a vision was important. And as things have grown and as I work longer and longer, the vision I have for my business is like the North Star. It's what guides my decisions and that's something that became very clear when um, I was struggling to grow my business, when I was when I was stuck with these little bits and pieces of like, should I do a Facebook Live challenge? Should I do, make a Facebook group? Should I focus on Instagram? Should I make a new opt-in? Like, you know these little bits and pieces, the puzzle pieces of a business that don't actually matter on by themselves, but make a really strong part of a big picture. Now you need that big picture in place. Um, so this is actually vision is actually uh, the first keystone of working together with me in terms of building this digital, digital strategy, and it's also something we're going to go deeper into in our workshops on the Prague Business Retreat happening in uh, September 14th to 17th of this year. And you can read more on maggiegila.com slash proc. So I was um, having a conversation with a friend of mine. We haven't seen each other in years, so we had a virtual date. And we actually used to work together in a souvenir shop in Amsterdam back when we were both studying at university. Um, and so many things have changed. And she, I have a good business. She has an, a really cool candy business, which I absolutely love the idea for. And she was telling me that she actually said no to a major investment opportunity um, because, and she couldn't quite put a finger on why. She said something didn't quite feel right. But the turning point was when one of the visions she had for her business was to be able to give back. So for example, and this I thought was absolutely incredibly inspiring, that she went, went out of her way to look for a chocolate factory that would do something to give back to the community. So one of the factors she's looking to work with actually plants a tree every time you buy a bar of chocolate, which I thought was absolutely fascinating. And that's when you know a business isn't just looking at the bottom line, that there is more that they care about. And in today's marketing terms, vision and values are much more binding than looking for the lowest price, especially with what we do when we're people facing um, businesses, when we focus on relationships. And one of the things I was thinking about as well was um, Simon Sinek's book, Start With Why. It's also a very popular TED Talk, so you can go Google, look it up on YouTube. But I strongly recommend you read the book as well. And Simon Sinek says that people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. So have a think about what is the why behind your business. What are your core values that people can actually relate to you with and start building relationships with you? Because especially if you work online, you're then not just another face in the crowd. You're, just not, you're not just another life coach or consultant or strategist or another t-shirt maker or designer. But the core values that you have, the vision that you have for your business, that's what drives you. So with this example of my friend, she's given up this investment opportunity. She's going full on, full steam ahead with really focusing on her vision for the business, which is giving back to community and being a better part in the global world with what she can do with her business. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited for, for this thing. Um, and I thought it was a really interesting lesson as well that if you're trying to build a business where you where you where it's more than just about finances, where it's, where it's about the people you work with, the clients you have, the, what you deliver to your customers, then take a step back and think about what your vision is. What do you actually want people to take away from experiencing you and your business and your company? 
So that brings me back. Ooh, that brings me back to Simon Sinek's book, Start With Why, which I absolutely love. Um, and at the end of the day, people buy from people. This is so even more important in the online world because with offline, it's really easy to build relationships because people see you, they hear you, they can, it's, it's, it's much more tangible. And it is, you build much, you build trust in a much faster way, um, face to face. Online, it's much more complicated. It's much more difficult. It takes longer. So your vision, your core values. Frodo. Sorry, I have a puppy barking at the door. <laughs> um, your vision and your core values are what binds you together, and helps you connect to your ideal customers, your clients, and build an audience online. So if you're here, if you're watching the replay, Frodo, stop it. He's growling at the door. I, okay. Uh, <laughs> so if you're here, if you're watching the replay, um, pop in and say hi. I would love to know what is some of, what are some of your core values that you stand by for. Um, some of mine, and you can see this on my about page, I'm very open with this, um, are honesty always, uh, being a partner to my clients, um, moving forward that, that we have progress, not perfection and making magic happen because I want a little bit of that fantasy and fun in there as well because that's something that's very important to me. As you can see with my office behind me, I've got the unicorn and the dragon and um, Groot um, as office mascots. Hi Bianca. So this is the story of that friend of mine who has said no to a big investor, big investment deal to help her build her startup and really scale it like crazy. And she said no because she wants to stand by the vision that she had for the company and stand by what's important for her. And that is how you can actually build something that is so relatable and memorable. And you can do that for anything. So that's my message for today. Um, I would love to know in the comments, what is uh, so what are some of your core values? And we are, this is a topic that is the cornerstone of building an online or offline business strategy. And it's also something we're gonna be talking about more in, in much deeper detail on the Prague Business Retreat happening in September this year on maggiegillacom slash Prague. I will be doing these live streams every week on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. CEST, uh, which is 8 a.m. EST. So pop in a comment, let me know how things are going, and I'll see you next time. Bye.